on Din Shankus, the law of place names. Warriors, learned men, and the elite were expected to know the real or the purported history of local places as preserved in their names. The bards and the filly, classes of elite poets who were charged with keeping records of the histories, were required to know the lore of place names and be able to answer questions and recite poetry as a mark of their profession. Dinshankus means lore of noble places. It is made up of a series of about 176 onomastic poems, along with a number of prose tales depicting ancient legends connected with the origins of Irish place names. There is a distinction made by scholars between the poetic of metrical Dinshankus and the sections comprising a prose Dinshankus. The content of the Dinshankus is of significant antiquity, having first been passed down through the oral tradition of the bards and filly for centuries before being written down by scribes and monks during the Christian period. The metrical Dinshankus was compiled, translated and published in five volumes as recent as the early part of the 20th century by Edward Gwynne, who drew from the Lower Hudra, the Book of the Dunkau, the Lower Lagan, which is the Book of Leinster, the Renner's Manuscript, the Book of Ballymoth, the Great Book of Lekin, and the Yellow Book of Lekin for source material. Many of the stories are clearly fictitious, appearing as though the story was created to support an existing place name rather than a place name created to record an actual story. Nonetheless, they provide us with interesting insight into the imagination and a little into the culture and society of the early Irish.